Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Uh, I know a lot of people don't fucking believe this story, but I don't care. It's the truth. Believe whatever you want to believe. doesn't matter to me. So it was a mistake. It started off as a mistake. So I shot some uh, content. I I hired a photographer to Mm -hmm. shoot me named Mark Don, like when I turned 29, because I was almost going to be 30, which is so old. And I wanted one sexy shoot of myself before I got old. (sighs) And (laughs) I know I think of that now and I'm just like, oh my God. So I had this guy Mark Don shoot me and it was all only supposed to be clothed. And I thought maybe throw in a couple implied for fun. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, as I started shooting, I started to feel more comfortable. And then he was like, do you want to just do some like topless stuff? Like then you can just have it and then you can do whatever you want with it later. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Like, you know, maybe I'll look at it when I'm 80 and be like, Oh, I was so hot. Look at my park of titties. (laughs) So I said, sure. And so we shot them and, um, I had them retouched along with the other pictures just because I was sending in a batch to get retouched. And so I had them all done, but then I pulled the images from the gallery, um, before I posted them. And so I posted these, this was on my old website. I've changed websites management a couple of times. So when I started my website again, this time on the current server that it's on, um, my assistant at the time was uploading content for me. And I realized that I had forgotten to upload the pictures of me. So I said to her, I'm like, okay, so go ahead and upload these. Just make sure that you delete the nudes from the gallery. Cause they were still all in like yeah. the same folder. And she was like, okay, sure. So, and it turns out it was really ultimately my fault. Cause I gave her the wrong direction. So the way that the CMS works on my website is that you upload a gallery and there's like the gallery showing where you see the thumbnails that you can click on. And then there's downloadable zip files, right? And they're two separate links. So she went, she uploaded the set. She went into the gallery and she physically deleted the pictures from the gallery. So she thought, okay, like fine, post them. So she put them up on like a Friday I wake up on Saturday morning and my tits are all over Twitter. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh, like God. what happened? How did this happen? And I texted her and I called her and I was like, you fucking put my nudes up. And she's like, no, I didn't. I'm like, yeah, you did. They're all over the internet. She's like, no, I swear to God, I deleted them from the gallery. Just like you told me. And I went in and I looked and what I realized was that we forgot to delete them from, they were in the zip files oh, shit. because they're two separate Upload. So it was a CMS error. It was Christmas morning for the, for Twitter. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So I had to freak out for a second. Then I was like, okay, it's not that big of a deal. They're actually very yeah. nice photos. Yeah. And um, it was oh, not like job. Yeah. And it's not like your family is very conservative. So yeah, it's not like my family won't care. Honestly, the only person I was worried about was my husband. That was the only person. So he was at hockey. And I called him and he was about to go on the ice. And I was like, babe, I have something to tell you. And he was like, what? I'm like, I don't know. You're going to be mad. And he was like, what? And I was like, and I told him and he goes, oh, babe, I don't care. He goes, you have nice tits. Who cares? And I was like, (laughs) okay. (laughs) He's like, I got to go. I'm like, okay. That's that's when you knew he was a keeper. (laughs) I know. Right. And so then I was like, all right, well, I mean, I know better than anybody that once things on the internet, you can't take it back. Like yeah. it's fucking, it's there. So I was like, I'm just going to own it and I'm going to promote it and I'm going to make money off of it. And that's exactly what I did. Yeah. And my website did better that weekend than it's ever done. <laughs> and, you know, I was just like, okay, well, I have some more from other sets. I'll just release those. Like, fuck it. They're out there. Like my tits yeah. are out there. Why not? And so I did. And then, um, and then we were in... And then I think I posted a couple of topless pictures like here and there on my Snapchat, but, um, I was still like felt kind of weird about it. Mm -hmm. And then we were in Italy and we were in Florence 
and uh, we our flight got canceled because the airline went on strike. And <laughs> yeah, so and the only way to get back because we both had to get back because we had to work was basically pay like another twenty five hundred dollars to take a train to Milan, like fly out of Milan um, and to San Francisco. And it was like, it was 2,500 bucks. Like they wouldn't refund me my money. So, um, I was like, I could probably pay for this if I like actually promoted like some topless pictures on that. I had topless pictures on my Snapchat cause I'd never really promoted it before. Mm-hmm. And I did. And I made a lot of money <laughs> and I was like, Hmm. So I talked to Trex and I was like, how do you feel about like me actually shooting like just some nude stuff here and there? Because like people are paying a lot of money for it. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, sure. That's cool. I don't care. And then, um, I did some like selfies in my shitty bathroom and he (laughs) saw some of the pictures and he goes, babe, these are, he's like, this is terrible. Your fans deserve more than shitty photos in your shitty bathroom. Why don't we like go to a hotel, get your hair and makeup done and I'll shoot like, pretty pictures of you in lingerie. And I was like, okay, all right. Like you're in on it. So that's what we did. And it's been really, it's actually been really nice. Um, it's been a wonderful additional source of income. I won't lie. That's been really helpful, especially during quarantine. Um, it's made me feel more confident about my body. Mm -hmm. Uh, my fans have been incredible, like just so, I mean, you know, obviously you get the, the guy here and there who's like, show me your pussy. And I'm like, yeah, I don't yeah. do that. And they're like, fuck you. Yeah. Um, well, but for the most way you could do everything, everything. Like, yeah. More penis. Exactly. <laughs> you could cure park, cancer. And then- park a car in your asshole. It's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, we all know this. So, um, but for the most part, they've been like so wonderful and so respectful. And it's actually been really great for like our sex life because, I never dress up in lingerie and like act sexy for my man. Like I just don't do that. It's not really my thing. I feel like silly when I do it, Mm -hmm. but doing it with like a financial and business motivation behind it makes it something different. And so now he finds that, you know, even though I'm like doing these strip teases and these pictures technically for like fans, I'm also really doing it for him because he's the only person that I let take pictures of me. Mm-hmm. So like he gets to see this whole other side of me that he never got to see before. And, you know, it's been, it's that. been, yeah. So it's been really good for our relationship and it's been good for our sex life. And, you know, after a few years of trying, sort of trying, I'm, I got pregnant in January. So, so who what? knows? So Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah and i've continued to shoot while i'm pregnant did you do, pre- did you do prego prego nudes i have been yeah right. and people have been really actually we're going away this weekend after this podcast mm-hmm. which is why i had to push it back push it that forward back 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 back, back in time oh, yeah. we're <laughs> early <laughs> uh because we're going out to like a cabin like this remote cabin for the weekend and we're gonna like shoot some stuff there. And he was like, okay, let's get a tent and we can get like a little camper, like flannel for you. And we can like a hat and we'll like do some sexy pictures in there. And I was like, you're totally into this. This is so fun. Isn't it nice having a supportive partner? Yeah, totally. I mean, yeah. It, and it's so funny too, you know, because I've spent so many years photographing girls naked in front of, of me and always, you know, trying to tell them that they're beautiful and that they're sexy and that they should feel empowered by it. But I've never personally felt that way, Mm -hmm. like when the camera was turned on me, but now I feel more that way. So it's kind of, it's, yeah, yeah, it's just interesting. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.